NASA has received a call for help from another galaxy, from extraterrestrials that is. This is according to allegations. NASA said to have detected and decoded a mathematically motivated distress signal from a supposedly doomed planet outside and beyond our own galaxy. So is, this is intergalactic. The question of whether all these allegations are true is or not is great. The signal is said to have been detected January of 1998, but it took several years for the message to be properly decoded. NASA experts claim to have intercepted an intergalactic emergency call from an alien civilization that had already reached the top and is now in decline and dying away. All this possibly 8,000 years ago, 8,000 light years from our Earth. Uh, although the signal seems to have reached our receivers in 1998, it was not until 2011 that radio astronomers and language experts found the key to the complex language based on mathematics, which allowed them to translate the, quote, frantic cry for help, end quote. The world press remained suspiciously silent about this astonishing message, although lengthy scientific reports are scheduled for, were scheduled for publication in two professional journals, Radio Astronomy and Universe. According to an extremely senior NASA source in Houston, Texas, the senior Russian officer in the former Soviet Union, Viktor Kulikov, was the head of a United Nations research team from a state observatory 50 miles northwest of Moscow, Russia. General Viktor Kulikov told the Universe magazine that the signal came from a point beyond our galaxy. It came from the Andromeda galaxy, and it was sent by beings who seem to have achieved a civilization no more advanced than ours here on Earth. I don't know how he figured that they're not more advanced than we are, but anyway, uh, according to him, uh, he says, the mere fact that we received and decoded the message proves beyond any doubt that their knowledge and technology were at best within our capabilities. This is what Dr. Kulikov explains. He says, and while there are years of study ahead of us, I can say with certainty that the death of their civilization was not the result of some cosmic catastrophe. He said it was the result of civilization turning against itself, possibly with destructive nuclear weapons, he said. Dr. Kulikov flatly refuses to provide one of the magazines with a copy of the message. He simply stated that he started with the words, the message started with the world words, help us, and continued by quoting the data that determined the exact location of this doomed planet. He said there was a fairly clear description of the disasters, the explosions, the diseases, as well as a widespread death. Could all this be caused by a meteor shower? Maybe, but what strikes me and is only an emotion is that this message, there's a basic acceptance of guilt. It's as if the senders of the message recognize their responsibility for what is happening to them. And Kulikov said, whatever it was, they obviously had no means of evacuating the rest of the population. Interplanetary space travel was included in the plan, but only on a very limited level. He said the message makes it very clear that they were trapped in their world, Kulikov said. The article was written in two magazines. NASA just managed not to get much publicity. At that time, the newspapers wrote very little about the subject. However, as expected, at some point, the whole story would come to light. Did all of the, this above really happen? For all this is uh, argued that there is no trace of truth, neither in terms of names nor in terms of sources, nor in terms of events, etc., etc. The whole article is a figment of the imagination. For example, Hoax Slayer deletes the above with great ease by answering almost each paragraph separately as, is this the truth or is it a cover-up? We don't know. I've translated this from a Greek article for you. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.